guys, Chris here from Ordealist. Uh, a few months ago, I got a new chair, the Helinox Chair One, and um, I've used it for a couple of trips now. I got it for weekend camping trips, um, you know, longer overlanding trips. You know, I've used it for a few weeks now, and I thought I would tell you what, why I got it and what I think of it so far. I was in the market for something lighter and more compact and the Helinox chairs have been around for a while. Uh, the Chair 1 was the first one that this company made. So I'd heard good things about them so I decided I would give it a shot. These chairs pack down incredibly small for what they are. I mean you can see how small that is. And they are actually pretty comfortable for their size. They sort of conform to your shape when you sit in them. They're sort of flexy. They're really strong, they're really well engineered, and um, you know they can hold over 300 pounds, which is pretty amazing. Um, they're also pretty versatile because they're small and light. You can, and they come in this bag, you can really bring them with you. Um, you know, you could bring them in a backpack, camping, strap them to your bike, um, bring them, you know, even to like a sporting event or something. So you can use them for more than just overlanding and off-roading, which is nice, because you know, how many of these types of chairs do you want to have floating around your house? also really easy to set up and take down. It's super quick. You know, a lot of camping chairs, you don't have to set them up. You just pop it up, you know, it's just sort of a pop out thing. These you do have to take some, you know, you have to actually put it together, but it doesn't take long at all. So it's really not an issue. The chair comes in this bag, which is nice. It has these little um, loops, webbing loops, so you can connect things to it. You can connect it to you know, the outside of a backpack or a bike or a rack and then even connect stuff to this. So these daisy chains are nice. When you open it up, there's the, um, this is the fabric, the seat cover. So it's got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a mesh in here and that mesh, you know, lets some air flow through when it's warm out. Um, the, these are the the ends for the poles and these are the poles themselves so you can see the poles are made of this um, proprietary aluminum which is super strong and the they are connected together with these hubs which are made of some kind of vinyl composite which are also really sturdy and then it, it has the they have shock cords running through the running th <laughs> <laughs> running through the poles like a uh, tent would have and they just you know they make it pop together nice and quick so you know you can see how fast that went together and then it sits like this the short poles on the bottom these two long poles on the top and that's the back and then you just take this and it pretty much connects let's see if I can do this while I'm while I'm holding it up in the air Connects like this, spins around, looks like this, and here, and then here, and that's it. I mean, that's fast, you know, no, no big deal. What's amazing is the chair only weighs two pounds, two ounces, but it can hold like, I think about 320 pounds of weight, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, for most people that's going to work. You know, it, it's, I weigh, I hate to admit it, but I weigh almost 200 pounds, 195. And when I sit in it, it's a little, you know, it, it, it moves underneath me, but, you know, I'm not worried about it breaking or anything. And again, it, it conforms to my, my shape, so it's pretty comfortable. There are really only two things, sort of downsides to these chairs that I'll point out. Um, one, no armrests. So if you are looking for an armrest, you know, it doesn't have that, which means it doesn't have the cup holder built in. They do sell a cup holder as an accessory. So you, you can add one. Um, the other thing, and this is actually more the bigger deal, is that it has the, the bottom of the legs are pretty narrow. And so when you sit on it, if you're on moist saw or soft ground of some sort, like on wet grass or sand or you know maybe mud, I don't know, you'd be camping in mud, but um, the feet will actually sink in a little bit. And 
you know that that's a little bit of an issue they do sell a an accessory that is a sort of square piece of this essentially it looks a lot like the um, web the fabric that they use on the backing and it goes you know around here I think to um, spread the pressure out the load out a little bit so that it won't sink so I'm probably gonna get one of those for these chairs because sometimes I just use it in my backyard which after you know it's rained is pretty wet and it definitely these feet will sink into the grass. Other than that, I'm, I'm a big fan of these chairs. I think if you're looking for something that's lightweight, versatile, and won't take up a whole lot of room in your vehicle or backpack or wherever it is that you're planning to carry it, these are a really great option. Hope that was helpful. Uh, if it was, please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.